Let's face it, procrastination affects all of us to varying degrees. We all get that urge to put off a task even though eventually we're gonna have to do it. Sometimes that urge is too strong to resist. But giving in to this impulse can have serious consequences. It not only affects our level of productivity and missing out on our goals, but also causes unnecessary stress, anxiety and feeling of guilt. The good news is we're not procrastinators. We have a habit of procrastinating, so there's a big difference. Since it's a habit, we can use science to break it. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the ways we can overcome this. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Noyan, a general practitioner, i.e. a family doctor based in the UK. Procrastination is often confused with the term laziness, but they're very different. Procrastination is an active process where we choose to do something else instead of the task we should be doing. Laziness, on the other hand, is the unwillingness to act. One of the common reasons we lack motivation is because the task is too big and intimidating. We simply don't know where to begin. So what do we do? We avoid this unpleasant but likely important task in favor of one that's more enjoyable or easier to do. As a new YouTuber, the idea of producing a new video seems like an overwhelming task. The perfectionism in me kicks in. I think of a million reasons not to start working on this new video idea. I start asking myself questions like, where do I even begin with researching this topic? You know, how do I write a script? And the very idea of starting with a blank page is paralyzing. Perfectionism is another reason why we procrastinate. Due to the fear and anxiety of not doing something right or making a mistake, we end up delaying it or avoiding it altogether and seek comfort in doing things that are less taxing. So one of the effective ways of dealing with such resistance is to trick the brain into thinking that you're only gonna be working for about five minutes. It's amazing how once the brain kicks into gear, most of us will continue to work beyond this point. The trick is to get started in the first place. The idea of a big task can be so daunting, but one method that has worked for me is breaking it down into smaller manageable chunks. To complete these smaller tasks, I use the Pomodoro Technique, a time management method developed by Francesco Cirillo in the late 1980s. This technique uses a timer to break down work into 25 minute intervals, followed by five minutes of break. And this can be repeated three to four times before you can take a longer break. It's such an effective method for getting work done as it creates a sense of urgency to complete a task in a given time frame. Another principle I use to manage my to-do list is Parkinson's law, which states work expands to fill the time allotted to it. I use this technique by creating artificial deadlines that forces me to get work done more efficiently. However, when applying this principle, one thing to be mindful of is being realistic with how long a task would take in order to prevent ourselves from overstretching. I tend to tackle the big jobs first thing in the morning during my peak hours and deal with smaller jobs that doesn't require much brain power, such as replying to emails towards the end of the day. One of the biggest killers of productivity is distractions. So relying purely on our willpower to avoid distractions is difficult to maintain long term. So instead, take steps to create a work environment that minimizes distractions. I try to be intentional with my work zone and create separate spaces in the house that serves different purposes. For example, for me, the office is the work zone where I'd like to do focused work without any distractions and the living room is more for relaxation. And I try not to bring my work to the living area to maintain that separation. So these were some of the strategies I've used over the years to try and stay as efficient and productive as possible. If you have a system that's working for you and would like to share it, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.